Hello, hi, thank you for coming to my workshop today. Uh, my new tool I want to introduce to you is something I use quite often. It's a nail center punch. In my hand I have about four different type. Some are larger than others, the uh, tip, the head of them for larger nails, some for brad nails. And these do come in use in case you want to build a project and you want to punch those nails below the surface of the wood so no one gets their finger or hand caught on it or just for appearance sake. Uh, let me illustrate how that works. I have a nail right here, and uh, what I do is I nail it down, just like this. Okay, I'm going to nail that one down too. But then I want to lower the tip of that nail, the top of that nail, so nobody can get hurt. So I'm going to nail those flush, just like I'm doing with these two nails. There's one. And then I'm going to take, and there's the other. And then I'm going to take one of the punches and hit the very top of the nail once or twice so the top of the nail goes below the surface of the wood. That really does come in handy. I had a little girl uh, and I wanted to build her a project so I had to countersink all the nails so those little fingers, those little hands would not get scraped in that nail. So there you pop that down in there, it goes, goes below the surface. Now the only problem next is that you have the holes on top of your project. You're going to have to decide what to do uh, with those holes. That punch right there was uh, ground down to the tip of it was like a nail. That way if I want to start a screw it's easy to just punch a hole and have a place there to start a screw. Now in order to do something with those two or three holes I have on the surface I'm going to take a piece of paper, just a scrap piece of paper, maybe a piece of cardboard, or maybe a piece of scrap wood, and I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to make my own putty, my own wood putty. First of all, I'm going to take a little bit of sawdust from uh, some pine lumber, because I'm working with pine, and hopefully this pine sawdust, the color will match the color of the wood. Then I'm going to take a little bit of white Elmer's glue, just a real cheap school glue that kids use in school, and then I'm going to squeeze a little bit of this on top of the sawdust. Uh, usually I put this glue in my pocket for a while and get it warmed up. It's pretty cold and so I'm trying my best to squeeze that right on top of that sawdust. Here it comes. Let me open it up a little bit more. There you go. And it's squeezed right on there. Then what you do is you take an old screwdriver or something flat and then mash that all together and uh, make your own putty and uh, once you fill those holes and it dries you sand it and those are so invisible you won't believe they're even there you'll never see the nails heads again so take your your old screwdriver push some of that putty down into holes smooth it out and then let it dry get some hand sandpaper or just sand your project like normal and it does look pretty good anyway so that's what you do with those nail holes um, that kind of a putty I would not recommend for real large, large holes, just for mainly for nail punch holes where you can just get rid of those brad nail holes and nobody can see them. Turn makes a, a good project look a lot better. Anyway, thank you for joining me today for this little presentation. I hope it's been helpful. If it has, please subscribe to my channel. Please share often. And uh, it, it, it does pay to have quite a few of these punches in your, your uh, wood shop at one time. So anyway, thank you for watching. You take care, and may all your wood be true.